Welcome back. In this video, we want to draw the subgroup lattice for the Galois group of x to the fourth plus one, again, over q. Uh, in the previous video, we found the Galois group, uh, which we could either write as the Galois group of q adjoin alpha over q, or the Galois group of q adjoin root two i over q. So we'll just call this g. Uh, we found this to equal a set of four automorphisms. One was the identity, one we called sigma, one we called tau, one we called sigma tau, where each of these elements has order two, meaning if you square them, you get the identity. And we want to draw the subgroup lattice. So, well, easy ones to draw, top of the lattice, you have G, and the bottom of the lattice, you have the group generated by the identity, it just has one element. Now, each one of these elements generates a subgroup of order two. So we'll put over here the subgroup generated by sigma. Over here, we'll put the subgroup generated by tau. And in the middle, say, we'll put the subgroup generated by sigma tau. All right, so we can connect those dots. And remember, when we draw these diagrams, we're just showing subset containment. So this subgroup down here is contained in each one of these three. And then each one of those three is contained in G. Okay, and I claim that we have to be done at this point. Uh, why do we know we have to be done? Well, first, each one of these is a subgroup. Second, uh, there aren't any more subgroups of order two. If you were going to have a subgroup of order two, it must have the identity and then one of the other three elements. And we already have those three subgroups. All right, so we have group of order one. That's the only way to do it. We have groups of order two. We have groups of order four. The only thing you might think is, well, what about a group of order three, something in between? And we can't have that by Lagrange's theorem, right? So recall that Lagrange's theorem says if you have a finite group, so you have some group G, which is finite, and you have a subgroup H of G, then the order of H has to divide the order of G. So since G has order four, and three does not divide four, there is no subgroup of order three. So this must be the complete subgroup lattice. 